<sighs> okay, there we go. Hmm. Of course, I gotta drink water. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you know what I need? Is a picture of the assembled model. Right? There aren't instru- Okay, this gun is only a few pieces, and there aren't instructions for it, but I do need to see what it's actually supposed to look like when it's fully assembled. So, uh, I'm just going to pop up the My Mini Factory page where I got this, and uh, we'll just see. Well, I will just look at that picture. Here. There. Okay, there we go. That's better. All right. Cool. Hey, everybody, welcome to Painting on the Dark Side, where we're not painting anything tonight. We're just <clears throat> we're just assembling uh, 3D printed models. Okay, so last time we built Deckard's Pistol, and it came out all right. It's not real functional, but, you know, it looks cool and stuff, and it's a cool display model, which is what I wanted it to be. So that is that is pretty awesome, and I got this thing to stay on. You know, I just I glued it, I put a lot of glue on it, and then uh, I just let it sit for several hours, and I didn't touch it, and that worked out. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that, that worked out. This gun is done. Deckard's pistol is done. So tonight, uh, I've, I've already mostly cleaned up most of the pieces here, but tonight, we're going to build Kay's gun from Blade Runner 2049. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm all phlegmy. I just ate a bunch of cookies. Ah, apologies if I clear my throat a whole bunch. Uh, anyways, okay, so I'm gonna look at a picture of this while I do it, because, again, it's only several pieces here. It's only, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten pieces. You know, it's not super intricate. It's not like, uh, it's not gonna be like a functional thing, like the trigger, I don't think will pull, I don't think. Well, maybe it will. Hmm. But, uh, you know, it's not gonna, like, do anything, you know, once it's assembled. But it will look cool, and it's gonna go on a cool little display stand and stuff, like Deckard's pistol. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay. So we might have to, like, oh, Irish Rogue, what's up, man? Okay, we might have to uh, make some fit adjustments or something like that. I'm not, not really sure. Let's see. Can I, can I actually push this in here? Not really. What if I try and do it from this end? I gotta turn the air conditioner on. It's so hot. Oh my god. It's gonna melt. And I'm right next to it. Hopefully, the filters that I put on OBS and everything are actually fil- Oops. Are actually filtering out the air conditioner noise now, I hope. I hope. I mean, they weren't really doing a good job of it before, but, you know. Maybe it'll be better now or something? I don't know. Can I- can I kind of pop it into place like this? That would be nice. Let's see. I think it's only supposed to go up to the end. Oh, hey, there it goes. Uh, almost. It's no. Ah, oh, that didn't go in. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't think that's going to be successful. I can't hear it. Audio sounds good. Okay. All right. I, I assume that means you can't hear the air conditioner. So, okay. That's good. All right. Oh, that's not going in there straight. That's, ah, that's probably what the problem is. Let's see. Why is this not going in straight? Let's see. Wow, that's so tight. Oh, my God. Ah! Ow! Wow, that really hurt. Oh my god, that hurt a lot. Hmm. Okay, 
What if... Uh, okay, probably what we're going to have to do is try and, like, shave the sides of this down, I guess. See, I knew I knew this wasn't going to be as simple as just, like, well, take all these pieces and put them together. Uh, and then this this gets glued together. Like, it says on the page, just glue it together. So, you know, it's not supposed to go together with, like, little pegs or anything. But, uh, okay, I'm going to take my, uh, this thing my deburring tool, and I'm going to just kind of trim the, the sides down a little bit. <clears throat> and we'll see if that helps. It should help. It would be easier to trim down the sides of this piece rather than, like, the inside edges of the of the barrel piece. So, yeah. Okay. See if We'll see if that does anything. It, it might do something, maybe. Wow, I'm really going to hurt myself. <laughs> uh, okay, I think, I think we're going to actually have to file down the whole, just the whole edge, not just the corner part, but like the whole edge. I did just get some sandpaper actually so that might actually be helpful in this situation we could try that let's see <clears throat> okay uh let me see i'm gonna get the sandpaper and uh, i'll be right back Okay, brand new pack of sandpaper. Okay, we have several different grits of sandpaper. So, oh, we have a lot of different grits of sandpaper. We have like up to 3,000 grit. We have from 120 to 3,000. All right, okay, and I don't even need a whole sheet. Okay, and it's, okay, and it says on the back of each sandpaper what it what it is. So... I just got this little package of sandpaper off of Amazon. So I guess we just kind of slice it open like so. Yep, trash can here. Okay. Do that. And then we're going to want a lower grit, but not, not 120. That's going to be too rough. I think we're gonna want I don't know four hundred maybe let's let's try something well that may be too fine even let's see no that's okay that's three twenty three twenty feels a little too fine let's try let's go for like two twenty is this one okay this one's three twenty it's the next one down two twenty 220. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Dude, I'm so excited for this movie tomorrow. I can't wait. Right? I know. It's going to be amazing. <clears throat> Even if it sucks, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to suck, but... Okay. Now, I don't need this whole piece of sandpaper. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this piece of sandpaper into strips. Or, well, not all at once, but I'm going to cut I'm just going to cut a strip of sandpaper off of this strip of sandpaper. And we'll just we'll just try that. Okay. And then I'll just put the rest of it uh somewhere. I don't know. Like back in the back in the package is probably good. It's probably a good place for it. Okay. So, let's see. Let's see if we can just you know, make this Oh, this is going to take all night. Holy shit. Mm. Why did I think this would be a good idea? I mean, this will work eventually, but wow. This is going to take a while. 
You know what? If I got out the Dremel and did this, it would go a lot faster. But I don't want to get out the Dremel. That's a big hassle. Hmm. Plus, I don't... Uh, well, I do have a place to plug it in, actually. My Dremel is not cordless. I mean, it's a pretty good Dremel, but it's not... It's not a cordless Dremel. It'd probably be a lot less hassle if it were a cordless Dremel. But it's a nice Dremel, but I don't want to get it out. Let's see. Okay, I'm sure that's nowhere near enough, but let's just let's just see what happens here. No, it's still that's still not gonna go. Oh wait, it's a little closer. Maybe. Can it? Can we just snap it in there? That would be great if it would just kind of snap and no, no, it's not gonna do it. Damn. Oh, wait, wait, is it? Oh, is it? Is there something, like, under here that's stopping it from aligning properly? No. No, I don't think so. I think that's all right. So if I, if I do that the other way, it'll have the same problem. Mm. Yeah, no, that's not that's not working. Okay. Let's uh let's just try this. Let's try this some more. And maybe we can maybe we can take off slightly higher layers of plastic than the uh than the very bottom one. Or something. Or something. Oh, no, maybe that maybe that's yeah, there's really nothing for it to grab onto. Huh. Okay. Shit. That's not that's not great. Yep, that's I don't think that's going to work. Nope, there's nothing for the deburring tool to grab onto right now. I've already uh I've already kind of bezeled that edge a little bit. Welcome to sanding on the dark side. Ah, yeah, that is kind of what we're doing, isn't it? Huh. Okay, not exactly how I thought that was going to go. Hmm. Well. Okay. We need we need a new plan. We need a new plan. Actually, so I do need to sand this piece a little bit. That's a little It's a little jaggy right here. And uh when I tried to fit this earlier, it just wouldn't go at all. And that's Clearly because of this. So if we can kind of get that all to be even, then that would be better. Okay. I mean, yeah, I can feel that working a little bit. Kind of. Yeah, somewhat. Okay, yeah. Now this piece goes on the top. It goes in right here like this, so I probably shouldn't have guffed that that particular part all up because we're going to, you know, be looking at that uh a little bit. So it goes in here. A oh, man, this this is like so tight. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't know how that's supposed to actually get in there and like stay in there and stuff that's hmm it's too high well maybe that's all right i think it's supposed to go all the way down but hmm possibly that'll work at that at that height i'm not sure let's see I want to, okay, maybe if I do that a couple more times, it'll kind of loosen this up a little bit. We can, like, get it in here a little better or something. <clears throat> Boy, this is just really tight fit. Wow, what a tight fit. My god. 
I mean, I guess you want a tight fit, but yeah. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's that's where it's supposed to go because this is sitting even on the thing here. Okay. So I should put a little bit of glue uh, under that now. Okay, because that is that is exactly where that piece is supposed to go, and it's supposed to look like that. That's what that's supposed to do. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to get this thing out. And I'm going to get myself a nice paper clip. Yep, there we go. Paper clip. Okay. And because it's a it's a relatively thin part, I'm just going to apply glue with the paper clip kind of up under here, or well, if I hold that where you can see it, kind of you know up under up under this part and stuff, and then and then we'll just press it down, and hopefully the gorilla glue does its gorilla glue thing and dries fairly quickly. Oh Jesus Christ! I did not need. Wow, was a huge blob of glue that just shot out of there. I was expecting it to have a little bit of resistance like it normally does, but no. No, it just came rocketing out of there. It was great. Okay. So we'll get a we'll get a good amount of that on the paper clip. And then we will apply it to the bottom of this part here. Like so, just all along here. Just all kind of up in there. Fairly far back. Yeah, about yeah, about there. That's fine. I guess it doesn't have to actually cover the entire length of the barrel. You know, that's that's pretty stuck in there. So. Okay. So then uh we'll just hold it there for a second. And we'll let it set. The Gorilla Glue should set fairly quickly. Yep. And then... Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's assemble other parts before we continue messing with the, with the barrel. Okay, so that is also part of the barrel. Okay, I need to see the picture some more. All right. Oh, there are other pictures of it. I wish there were pictures of the assembly process, but nah, there's only pictures of the of the finished model. Anyway, okay, so I think... Let's see. I think the trigger is supposed to go here? I think it goes like this. I think possibly. And maybe if we put like a thing in there, it will like lock in there and be able to rotate. I'm not I'm not actually clear cuz there there are little spaces where we could put you know a little rod through there or something and I do have some little metal dowel rods and stuff. So let's see. Okay, so this part uh, goes right here. And then that is what this goes on to. Like that. And then that's the trigger guard and stuff. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we probably don't want to glue the trigger in here. I think we probably want to put it on some kind of thing. Okay, you know what? Let me see if I've got a little dowel thingy that will fit through that. So I actually just got this brand new set of little metal dowel rods on which the the lid uh kind of ripped off here the very first time I opened it. So that's pretty cool. So, do I have one that will fit through the trigger and is long enough to go through? I've got M2, M3 and M4. So let's try M2. 
That's that seems like it should be the right size to go through there. I could hit it with a hammer or something and try and drive it through there. I don't know. That might that might actually work. But then if I grab if I grab the M2 and the M2 goes through, but it's real loose. It's really loose. But, but um well, it's not okay, it's not too loose. Let's see. Let's let's just try the longer one though. Let's try this is a this is a 16 millimeter little, uh, little M2 dowel thingy right here. Okay, so it it will stick out that far, which might actually be the right distance. I'm not. Let's see. Oh, it did not fall in the glue. Wow, that was very close. Okay, did not fall in the glue. However, even if it's <coughs> wow, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, even if it's not exactly the right size, uh, it should stick. Oh my god, it should still. Okay, it's a little bit too long. Okay, so we're gonna need the next one down, which I think was a twelve millimeter. Yeah, twelve millimeters. The next one. Okay, so let's do that. Jesus Christ. Just go in here and don't fall out. Okay, that's exactly the right length. Okay. So if we shove the trigger up in there, okay. Then it then it will rotate. But I'm not sure how I'm not sure what would Yeah, okay, so that's that's keeping it in place, but I'm not sure what will actually keep it from like pulling out of there. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so unfortunately uh, I had to print this whole model with supports mostly. Uh, the barrel didn't, I didn't print the barrel with supports. I just kind of printed it upright like this and it printed great. Like it printed amazingly actually. Um, however, the rest of it basically printed with supports. And so these are supposed to be two little alignment holes right here. But as you can see, they're filled with supports and I can't get them out of there. Um, I can. I've I've been using the sculpting tool to try and like dig supports out of things, but with these Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I was gonna say these particular ones wouldn't come out of here, but actually, look at that. Okay, maybe it's not actually filled in, maybe it's just kinda like, yeah, okay, it doesn't seem like there's actually anything up in the hole. Just just had crap on top of it. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, it has all these little alignment holes where you can, you know, put a thing in there and it'll, it'll help you align the parts better, which is really cool. Uh, so I initially thought, hey, put these little dowels and stuff in there, but then one of the comments on the page on my mini factory where I got this gun is, uh, hey, just use pieces of filament and, you know, stick, stick like pieces of filament in here and stuff. And then that'll just, you know, help you line your, your stuff up. And, um, okay, that, that appears to, to be a pretty good piece of advice. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I will have to shorten those up significantly. Let's see. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that. Maybe even slightly more than that. But let's see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay. And then we can just glue that. So that's. You know, that that aligns it, but that doesn't like hold it on there. That just that's just where it 
where it goes, basically. Okay. But that's that's pretty cool. Okay, I mean, there's, there's nothing to make the trigger really, like, return or anything. But it, you know, it does this. And, uh, I mean, friction seems to be holding it in there pretty well. I mean, I'm not pulling super hard on it, but it's... It's not fall. It's not falling out. So, okay. I guess that's cool. All right. So I'm gonna glue this piece in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually just apply glue directly to it, because it's it's fairly large. So. Okay. Yeah. Neat. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put glue. Just uh. Let's see. Hang on, let me let me see what is actually touching what here. Okay, so basically that whole whole thing. Okay. I'll probably spread it out a little bit with the uh With the paper clip. So that way, when I put it on the piece that it connects to, it doesn't like, you know, mush out the sides and stuff, because that's really annoying. We'll just, we'll just make sure we get pretty good glue coverage here. Definitely hate it when like glue pops out the the side of things that that's fairly annoying. That's that's probably good, right? All right, let's put that on. There we go. That is pretty well aligned. And I'll just press it on there. And I mean, that's not doing anything to, you know, keep the trigger in there or anything like that. But, uh, you know, it's it's cool anyway. Try to keep your fingers out of the glue this time. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. So far. I was going to say so far so good and then I got glue on my finger. Yeah, a little bit right there. <laughs> right right on my thumb there. Uh, it is the rule of working with glue that you must get it on your fingers. Ah, <sighs> lame. Anyway, okay. So. All right, done that. Okay, what's uh what's the next piece? Next piece is. Am I? Might... Oh, this goes. So wait, no, hang on. Am I missing a thing? This is something that goes in here. I guess it's this. I guess this goes in here. But I'm not really sure how. I... Oh, I guess just like this. Is it? Is that right? Does it go this way? No idea. Hmm. It's got this little notch, like something's supposed to fit in there. But I'm not really sure what. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. And then this part will go on here, and then the handle, god damn, and then the handle will mount to that. All right, so so basically, we'll have, we'll have this kind of thing right here. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I think the next thing to do. Well, let's see, maybe. We should mount this uh this rail thing right here 
before we try and put the barrel on it? I'm not, I don't know. Would that, would that be helpful? Let's see. I think we need to maybe trim the back of this down just slightly so it'll actually fit in that little receptacle. Just a little bit. And that's supposed to go in here. Boy, I wish some of the stuff would actually go in the places it's supposed to go. Wouldn't that be really cool? If, if things like that could happen. Okay, I see what's preventing it from going in there, actually. Okay, so there's a little kind of bumpy bit right on the inside here. We can kind of kind of shave that out. Maybe if we come in from this way, do that, and then also on this side. Of that, something like that, that might help. Let's see. Does that help at all? Maybe. No, not really. That didn't really help at all. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so this piece is supposed to go here, and then this piece. Uh, goes in here, like there's there's this little notch here, and it goes in this groove, and then that's a that's a whole thing. So it should just I'm gonna go in there. It should just go in. Okay, it does kind of go in, kind of, but it's not going down all the way. Hmm. Why is this stuff so tight? Ooh, hit the camera. Nice. Okay. That's just... That's just way too tight. Okay, it's gotta go... Like, what if I try to kind of pop it in there like this? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, man. I don't think that's ever going to come out of there. I hope I'm satisfied with that placement, because that's that's where it's going now. And then the barrel goes on here, like this. Okay. And then that rail thing goes under here and kind of, you know, supports that whole thing. So we got to get it to, to pop into you know, all of the stuff that it's supposed to pop into, basically. Uh, you know, including this thing. That would be good. Okay, it actually fits into this piece. Uh, all right. And then... Okay. So, I guess it can actually stick out the front of the barrel a little tiny bit. Yeah, I think it's supposed to, in fact. It's supposed to stick out about that much. That's what it looks like in the picture. So, okay. So that's cool. All right. Anyway. Okay, we just have to actually get everything aligned here. So let's see. Can I stick little pieces of filament in here to do that? I can, but I'll have to glue them. Let's see. I didn't glue this piece in. Oh, wow, that is that is not coming out. Okay, I didn't glue this piece in, but, uh, man, I would need some kind of very strong tool to pull that out at this point. Wow. That's that's 100% in there. 
Okay. This I would I would actually like it to, you know, pop into the stupid little rail thing. Would, oh, they do it. They do it. I think at the wrong depth maybe, but kind of. Hmm. Yeah, okay. It seems like it's kind of going in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then that's, yep, that's too far forward. But, but I did kind of do it. Okay, so we need to, we need to get it in here first, basically. We need to have it go here first. Okay, so if I just glue it right there, that, that should be fine. And then we'll just put this on top of it. And then it'll go like that. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. That'll definitely work. Okay. So. I. Hmm. I was just, I was thinking I would take pieces of filament and like glue them in here. So they could, they could be like little guide things. But I don't know that that's really like super necessary. Let's see. that will that will that help at all oh no oh, some of these holes are not like super deep also i mean the filament's flexible so i don't know that that's necessarily the best thing to be using as a guide but maybe i don't know let's see okay let's cut that off kind of short There or on this side, possibly. We do that. That long enough? Well, that one's not really long enough there, but okay. Let's see if that lines up. Okay, that lines up. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate that. Okay. Yeah, okay, that that just helps with the alignment a little bit. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Yeah, I'll leave those in there. Okay. So, I'm going to glue I'm going to glue this in here to both things. Also, I'm going to just try and press this down farther. I can't really. Okay. It's it's there's a there's like a there's like just a half a millimeter gap between this piece and the piece it goes into. Like the between the beginning of the barrel and the receiver, basically. Just just like the tiniest gap. It's very small. Uh anyway, let's see. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. Okay, you know what? We'll just we'll just do the thing. We'll just glue it. We'll just glue this thing in here. And that'll be fine. Okay. So I'm going to take my Gorilla Glue. And I'm going to put it in here. And then I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of... Smear it... Around. Oh wow, that didn't really get anywhere on the on the back of this, did it? Nope. A little on the top. Not not so much on the back. Okay, so maybe we'll put it on this piece. Let's do that. We'll put some there. Yeah, put it all over. The back of this, and I'm not gonna spread it around with the paper clip. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, 
we'll, uh, we'll just hold it. Let's see. Now, I'm not going to glue this yet. I'm just going to kind of put it in place here. About, about there, I guess. Good. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should glue this all at the same time, actually. Maybe that would help. You know what? I think that makes more sense, actually. Okay, yeah, actually, let, let's do that. Okay, let's glue it all at the same time. All right, we'll do, we'll do a nice little kind of X pattern on this, like we're applying thermal compound, and then on the bottom of this, we'll just put a big line kind of like, kind of like down the whole thing here. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, and then it'll, you know, with luck, it, like all the pieces will support each other. That's oh shit, I got glue sticking out the side. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah, damn. Okay, let's see. Now I need my paper clip. I'm gonna try and scrape that off. I've got glue on my finger. I can feel it. Damn. Now it's fine if it like gets in the gap and like kind of seals the gap, but I don't want it just becoming like blobby and stuff. I don't want it to make the gun lumpy, you know? I guess it could stand to be a little bit sanded. Okay, it didn't it didn't actually press out of the other side at all. So that's good. Okay. But it did it did come out a little bit right here. So we'll just do that. Okay. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And then just yeah, up in the end. Okay. All right, that went together decently. I only got a minimal amount of glue on my fingers there. Okay, great. Hey, Camulus, what's up, man? Uh, hey, Bud was playing D and D. How's the stream been going? Uh, you know, just uh, the usual building the uh, <laughs> building prop guns from Blade Runner, getting glue all over my fingers. You know, it's it's that rule of the universe. It's that it's that law of the universe where when you use super glue, it must end up on your fingers. You know, you can't you can't possibly use super glue and expect it not to get on your fingers. It's it's gonna happen. Oh, there it just happened right there. That's was, that was really nice. Really appreciate that glue. Thanks. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. Let's let's see. Yeah, that that seems good. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Uh, and then the next move, I think we'll be putting the trigger guard on and that's going to go here. Okay. Yeah, that's going to go right there. And then that'll Oh, okay. So this has to Okay, maybe we don't put the trigger in or something. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so is this supposed to like slide over this thing? So it's got this little groove in here, like it's supposed to slide up this, and then okay, maybe I maybe I fucked that up already. Let's see. That's how you know you're building correctly. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. I don't I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Let's see. Is this is that what's supposed to happen here? Is this supposed to slot into this rail thing? Hmm. You know what? Let's let's turn it around and just see if that actually works. Would it actually no, no, it doesn't. Okay. It might be supposed to do that, but it it I mean it definitely doesn't. It's way too tight. Oh shit, now I got it stuck. Okay. 
Great. And there's definitely glue uh, in a place I don't want there to be glue. Oh, such as the palm of my hand. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, just wipe that off a little bit right there. Okay, yep. Yeah, that is how you know you're using the glue correctly, as if it's all over your hands. Yeah, basically. Okay, so... Let's see, I've, I kind of feel like this should just snap onto this piece, but I don't see how it would do that. God damn it, with the glue. There's glue everywhere. Why is there glue everywhere? <laughs> okay, don't need there to be glue on 100% of the gun, just... Okay, anyway. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is definitely supposed to have gone on the rail. Shit. <laughs> oh man, there's always some fun like that, isn't there? Okay. Yep, this, this should have gone on the rail. And uh, now I don't know if I will be able to get it on there, short of maybe like sawing off the little rail uh you know pieces in here then it would go over this but it's definitely not going to like stretch and clip it's that's not that's not what this stuff does uh damn it i did not realize it was supposed to do that hmm okay Let's see. Okay, can I hold this in a place where I'm not going to get glue on my hands? Possibly. Maybe. Probably not. Okay. So. Uh, no, that's definitely not going to... That is not going to bend that far. If I try to bend it that far, I'm going to snap the side off of this thing. Not that it's, like, real bendy to begin with, but, uh, shit. Okay, so, if I wait until the glue is dry, I may be able to shove this uh, all the way down here to where it's supposed to go, maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Man, this this problem really could have been avoided by having instructions with this model. But uh no, there there are okay, so whereas the inst the instructions with Deckard's pistol were just not very good, you know, uh there are actually no instructions with this. Like uh, I'm really just referring to a picture of the of the assembled model to kind of see where everything goes. I mean, it's not that many parts. It's it's ten, it's ten parts. So I didn't think it would be that complicated, but the way that they're supposed to go together, uh, it's not it's not super self-explanatory until you start doing it. So that's fun. Eh. Let's see. Okay. So here is my next thought. What if I take Okay. What if I take my cool little sanding stick here and I put that kind of up in in here? And I try to like sand these connectors down, uh, which theoretically should make this should make them smaller and more able to slide along the rail uh, up to the spot where it's supposed to be. That'll work, right? Let's see, which one? Okay, one side of this is more coarse, and one side is more fine, but just by just by touching it, I can't really tell which side is which. 
Let's see. Also, I wish this were a little bit more rigid. It's kind of these are kind of floppy and bendy. Not not floppy, but they're they're bendy. Let's see. What if I do this? Kind of do the side. Wait, you know what? I have files somewhere. Where are my files? That's exactly what I need is a file right now. Oh, wait, is that one right there? Uh, that's not... Okay, that's not the one I need. I need actually the flat one. This is kind of the... The round one. Let's... Hmm. That, but that'll probably work. Can I get that in there? Oh, yeah, you know what? That'll work. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's not... It's not the best shape for this, but it's okay. Ah, yeah. File. Yes. Okay. I have a whole little set of files somewhere. Where I don't know where the rest of my files are. I think maybe they're in my toolbox? Or something like that? Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can file the bottom of the other one here. I don't know that this is actually doing anything, but... I haven't got a better idea. What kind of character in D&D? Oh, hey, that's a great question. You know what? Yeah. What uh what what kind of D&D campaign are you even playing? Yeah, you keep saying you're playing D&D. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, give me a thing to talk about while I'm just rambling about this stupid gun. Yeah. What's your what's your D&D campaign about? What, uh, what, uh, uh, class and race and all that kind of stuff and alignment even. Are you playing, are you playing fifth edition? Is it, you know, actual D and D or are you playing another RPG and just calling it D and D like some people do? Let's see. War. Oh, you're a war forged. Cool. How, how are you a war forged rogue? <laughs> Up in ice wind. Oh, nice. Okay, so Forgotten Realms. All right. That's pretty cool. What uh what level are you? 5th edition D&D. Nice. I've actually gotten to play that a couple times, 5th edition D&D. Chaotic neutral. You chaotic neutral? Hmm. That's a that's a weird alignment. I find the neutral alignments to be uh, rather pointless. How do you know if you're acting neutrally? Acting neutrally is like abstaining from things. I was found stumbling out of some snowbanks by the rest of my team with amnesia. You, you mean like the rest of your team had amnesia? <laughs> I will do whatever I can to keep the balance. Ah, okay, but see, that's like lawful good, or lawful neutral. Okay, maintaining maintaining the balance is is lawful though. That's not chaotic. Chaotic is doing whatever you want. Um, need to keep the balance. Okay, see, okay, a good example is is Darth Vader, right? Darth Vader is lawful evil, right? Like both both Palpatine and Darth Vader are lawful evil. Like needing to maintain some kind of order, that is that is lawful. Lawful does not necessarily mean like upholding, you know, the law. It just means uh adherence to some kind of code, right? So, or some kind of uh, ethical guidelines, basically. You know, I, I mean, those ethical guidelines could be evil, you know, hence Darth Vader being lawful evil. He adheres to the principles of the Sith, but he adheres to the principles nonetheless, and so he is lawful, right? Um, no, I was. Is balance important? 
uh, rage kill, bring me a body bag. <laughs> but if that town wants to bribe me when I get there to go back and kill the other town, I'm down. As long as I get paid and one town dies, I don't mind. Yeah, but that's still lawful. Again, lawful doesn't mean necessarily following the law, you know, like don't murder people or don't steal things. That's, you know, that's a human created law, but that's not necessarily what lo the lawful alignment means, right? <clears throat> um, a good example of neutral is, is like an episode of Futurama where, you know, the, the, the neutral people, it's a beige alert. Ah, if I don't make it, tell my wife I said hello. You know, that's that's neutral, right? Um, as long as I get uh, but I but I won't just take the money and dip. That's lawful. The scales are not balanced then. That's lawful. Word. I will then give that cash away if there is a need. Uh that that I would say is more good than than neutral. Right. No, no, I swing up and down. I'm happy to cause chaos as long as in the end it swings back to balance. That's lawful. Yeah, that's lawful. <laughs> because the... Cause it... Okay, just, just the need to cause chaos in itself does not necessarily... Uh, uh, connote a chaotic alignment, right? Um, because you have that need for balance, you are inherently lawful. Um, if you... If you just went around doing bad things because they were bad or good... Well, not even necessarily bad things, but if you just went around doing whatever you want because you don't give a fuck, that's chaotic, right? Um, but if you go around doing things because you need there to be some kind of order, that's lawful. Lawful characters tell the truth, keep their word, respect authority, honor tradition, and judge those who fall short of their duties. No, no, good characters do that. You're, you're, conf you're conflating lawful and good, right? You, the thing you've just described as lawful is actually good. No. Okay. Chaotic characters follow their consciences, uh, resent being told what to do, favor new ideas over tradition, and do what they promise uh, if they feel like it. No, nope, that's lawful. That is direct from the rule book, man. I'm not. That's the rule book. Cut and paste, mate. I mean, I have the rule book. I could just go get it and look it up, but uh, I don't know. I don't really want to. It's in the other room. Let's see. Okay, have I filed this in enough? Let's see. Am I going to get this over the trigger also? That's going to be fun. Oh, I guess I can take the trigger out of here. It's not glued in there. We can just on it kind of hard and then the little dowel thing will fall out of it. Okay, so there's that problem solved anyway. Um let's see, okay, can this please just go down the stupid rail and not break? Okay, we're getting there a little bit, maybe. But I feel like I'm busting the rail off of the bottom of the barrel. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and I'm definitely gluing my hand right now. Awesome. I know there are heaps of those grid guides for it too, but that's the stance our DM uses because it's from the book. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, it's, the call is up to your DM, but... Yeah. Shit. Okay, I've got this stuck on here. Fuck. Mm, okay, I need to... I need to shove this... But... Well, 
Okay, that was not glued together super well, apparently. Just busted the whole thing apart. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Really, really cool. Really cool. Very nice. Okay. Uh, as long as that's the case, let's just take that all back apart. And, uh, oh, wow, there's where the glue didn't actually touch the thing I was trying to glue the thing to. Let's see. But let's be honest, when you have a group of five and a DM to make the story not go totally off the rails, we all we all adjust a bit as needed as well. The downside to pen and paper over a digital version where the program slash game won't let you choose any other option. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, there, okay, yeah, there is that need to, uh, accommodate the group, I guess. Yeah. Oh, what if I put this on from the other side? Can I get this off of here now? As long as this is all coming apart. Damn it. Oh man, I have a lot of glue on my hand now. This is fantastic. Oh, there's so much glue. Glue. Oh my god, every time I touch this thing, I get more glue on my fingers. This is great. And I can't get this off. Oh my god, that's so stuck. That is so stuck. Shit. Uh, mold rid mold ridge lines, making it not as soon as the design needs to be. Also, what's the countdown to Bob's? Uh, okay, Irish Rogue said it starts at 7 p.m. tomorrow. I mean, it's already started, but we're going to go see it at 7 p.m. tomorrow. So, uh, I don't know what that is in Australia, but, you know, Eastern Standard Time. So, whatever that is for you, at that time, we will be at the movie seeing Bob's Burgers, and it's going to be amazing. Smooth. Oh. Mold ridge, mold ridge lines, making it not as smooth as the design needs to be. Yeah, something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Oh my god! Oh wow! It's a little bit. Ah, holy shit! That hurt a lot. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here, and we'll try and put it in from the other side, maybe. Something like that. That kind of reminds me of a Viking boat. <laughs> Some reason I don't know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, but I need hour and a minute countdown, man. These are important bits of info. What sort of food are we are we talking here? Uh, I don't. I haven't been to the theater in about six years, man. Um, I might, I might get like nachos. I like nachos. Those are pretty good. Uh, probably some candy. Uh, Starburst. I like Starburst in the theater. Those are really good. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really a popcorn person. But, uh, I mean, popcorn's okay. I don't, I don't not like popcorn, but, you know, it's not my favorite theater food, you know? Oh my god, this really needs to come off. Holy shit. Can I put a thing in here and kind of try it a little bit? No? What if we do this? Oh, yes, it's going a little more. Ah, yeah, almost got it. There we go. Okay, it's out. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was a nightmare. Okay. Now, can we put it... I got glue on that now. Great. Can we put it in from this side? And get it to the right place. Well, that's not any better. Hmm. Just have glue all over. Let's see. Big gulp. Shit, that's the stuff. Uh yeah, I don't I don't drink soda, but you know. Whatever. Let's see. Uh oh, go hard, man. Make it a real treat. Irish don't sneak in booze. 
No, but seriously, don't. Um, let's see. Damn. How, how am I going to get this on here? I feel like I'm going to have to actually cut these, these little ridge things off and just kind of, like, put it over this thing like this. I don't really want to do that, but it's not really giving me a big, huge choice. Hmm. Damn. Sounds like you need to file it down just slightly. I already tried that. Let's see. Oh, what if I... You know what? What if I file uh, this part, actually, down? You know, I filed the top and the bottom, but I didn't file the, uh, you know, the part that might actually connect with it here. Let's Let's try that. I feel like I'm going to stab myself in the hand. And I probably will, but, you know, it's fine. Oh my god, I hate sanding models so much. I, I try to avoid sanding things whenever possible. It's like the worst. You know, maybe I'll just get out the Dremel. I don't know. If if this does not start going together more effectively, I'm going to get out the Dremel on the stream, and we'll see how that works. It'll be a little bit loud, but, you know, I will do it if I get, if I get pissed enough. Let's see. Um... Let's see, file down the ridge inserts on the guard piece. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, as with the glue, if you don't stab or cut your hands at least once, uh, you're just not doing it properly. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That's true. Hmm. There, there may be a Dremel in the future here. You know, it's... It's annoying to get the it wouldn't I think it wouldn't be so annoying to get out the Dremel if it were cordless. Maybe I'll get a cordless Dremel at some point, but uh for now I have to plug it in. And that's that's not my favorite thing. It's annoying to get out because of the cord, I think. Okay. Let's see if that works any any better here. Maybe, maybe, uh, no, not really, not really any better, no. Okay, what is the problem? Hmm. What is the problem? Okay, I didn't put glue all the way down the length of this thing. Left the little front part devoid of glue. So sh oh, wait. Actually, is this working a little bit better? Well, okay, I got it that far in. It needs to be here. It needs to be where this little notch is. Uh, what does it look like it's catching on? I really can't tell. I th okay, I think what the I think what the problem is is uh, this piece. Let's see. Let me point at it with a different thing. I think this piece here, like the back of this rail thing, is too thick to go through the the little rails on on this part. I think is what the problem is, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. What if I just shove this... Oh my god, no, that's not moving at all. Why would it go in that far and then just stop? Damn it. Okay, can I get it out of there? 
No, 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 that's where it lives now. It's stuck there forever. Of course. Oh my god, that's so stuck. That is so stuck. Holy shit. What? Is there something in the middle of that guard slide that is catching on it, or is it just the light messing it up? Ah, uh, so you sort of have to widen the channel on the insert of it, and I swear I thought it was about to snap halfway through. Redesigning the gun after the movie came out. Bold choice, Shadow. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing, yeah. Redesigning the gun, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I need this to come off of here now. That's it. Shit. Uh, let's see. Okay, last time I did this. Ah, nope. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a stupid thing and this might snap in half. Let's uh I'm gonna stand okay, I'm gonna stand up and I'm just going to apply like all of my body weight to this, which is not that much, but uh, This is gonna fucking break. No, it's not and it's not moving. Yeah. <sighs> Holy fuck. Okay, I can't get it off, and it won't go any farther. God damn it. <laughs> well, I could always reprint these pieces. I might have to do that, actually. I think the rest of it's okay. This is not, this is not moving in either direction. Wow. Uh, dear God, put on gloves first. <laughs> uh, if that snaps, it's going right into your wrist or palms, man. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, never accused me of being really smart. Let's see. Uh, warm water, uh, to heat it up and make it slightly more pliable. Would that, would that help? I, I don't, I don't know that that would help. Man, this sucks. Hmm, what, what would help? I mean, maybe I could shove a thing in there and, like, break these off. Huh. Damn. I don't have to do that. I mean, I have a heat gun. I guess I could try using the heat gun, but that seems... Unnecessary, I guess. Also, uh, last time I used the heat gun around my desk, it really warped my uh, cutting mat, so I'm reluctant to do that again. I had to buy a new cutting mat, basically. Huh. Let's see. Okay, that glue is still tacky. Oh my god. Possibly on a low setting. Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to do that. We'll, we will use brute force or nothing. <laughs> uh, well, I think I fucked this up pretty good. Um, okay. Here's, uh, here's my thought right now. If I stick... A thing 
in here, I can maybe break this side of this rail thing off. And then either one of two things will happen. Either I can glue it back on at the proper point here, or I can just reprint these two pieces uh, and then reassemble and then finish assembling the gun later because damn it. Okay, so how long to reprint when you break it? Uh, it took... <sighs> okay, so I printed all of the parts for this gun in one go, and it took 20 hours or so. But if I just print these two parts, that shouldn't actually take that long. That should only take uh, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, something like that. Um, yeah, no, it, sh it shouldn't take that long just to reprint these two parts. But let's, uh, let's see if I can break this, this stupid rail thing off then. Which I don't think I can, but let's, oh, wait, did I do it? Oh, I did. Hey, I did break it. Look at that. Yeah, I snapped it a little bit. Okay. Uh, can I snap the other one in the same way? Yes. Yes, I can. Which is not enabling it to move at all, but... Okay, what if I do that to the back? Can I do that to the back? It. Oh, I'm really just mangling it at this point. Glue on things. Oh! Oh! Oh, look! It's moving! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! Are you serious? <laughs> That's that's fucking hilarious. Did you did you see that? Ah, oh, that was like a big joke. Oh my god. Oh, okay, it's moving. It's moving. Glue on my fingers, but it's moving. Okay. Getting there. And it doesn't really look super broken from the outside, so that's that's actually good. Okay. Yes, yes. Ah, here we go. I think that's about it. I can't tell if it's in exactly the right... I don't think that's exactly the right place, but it's very close. Very close. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of movement would be good. Ah, right there, right there. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I can see the little notch thing through the hole. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Oh my god, it's in the right place! And it doesn't look that bad other than all the glue all over it. So, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. Sweet. Alright. So then, if I put this in here, uh, then this should go here. And hopefully I can just put everything back together like nothing happened. And I'll put, I will put new glue on this. But, uh, yeah. Okay. And then it'll just go like that. And I'll actually put the trigger in there before I glue this. But, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, God damn that thing. Okay. Trigger. Yep, that. Oh, Jesus. This is stupid. All right. All right, let's put let's put a bunch of new glue on it. Way too much effort. Oh, that was yes, I definitely agree. That was far too much effort. 
Oh, also, let's let's see. You know, I have a little bit more uh, filament right here. Let me get a nice big piece of filament. Okay, so what I will do is just cut several pieces of filament. Okay, and then take these <clears throat> and, okay, actually, I'm going to put glue from the thing. Okay, we're just going to do this, and I'm going to glue the pieces of filament into these holes right here, and then that way, it'll it'll line up with the holes in this thing, and then that will line up with the holes in the handle, right? So we'll make sure it's all relatively uh, correctly aligned, relatively. Over there. Something like that. More. That one's not real deep. Well, okay, three out of four is fine. It's whatever. Okay. Anyway, having done that, all right, now we'll put a bunch of new glue on this part. I'll just kind of maybe spread it around first so it doesn't all blob out the sides again. So that was annoying. I hate that. I'll do a little bit more than that also. Let's a little right there. Okay, and then okay, so we have that glue, and then we'll put glue. We'll also put glue on this side, which may seem redundant, but I'm doing it anyway. That's that's happening, so just deal with it. That big mess and do away from the edge there. Yeah. Okay. And then we need glue on this part. And I realize there's still glue on this, but it's Pretty old at this point. Something like that, anyway. Do have another tube of glue if I run out. This. And then I also need to put glue on this part. Uh, actually, let's put the glue on this end here. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Then spread it around. And of course, get my hands all in it. 
Yes. Yep, so I wouldn't be using glue if it weren't on my hands. Definitely. Okay. So something like that. All right, so I'm going to put this on first. So these will line up through these holes. Okay. Yep, and out the other side. Good. Okay. And then that. Oh, look, I got glue all over that part there. That's great. Not that this whole thing doesn't already have fucking glue everywhere. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Okay, so that is relatively correct, I guess. Okay. And then maybe we can possibly take that off of there. Just Eh. Just kind of making it worse. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Probably have to sand that later. All right, and then we go. Th no, not on the side. Oof, man, you just, that looks, that looks super bad, doesn't it? Look at all that glue. Oof, glue everywhere. It's like they gave a kindergartner super glue. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you should have known better. What did they think was going to happen? Got it there. Oh man, that's just everywhere, isn't it? Especially right there, the whole big blob. Okay. God damn it. How do I keep. How is there glue all over the barrel? Okay, let's get a paper clip that doesn't have glue all over it. And maybe we can use that to... I'm gonna get some of these gloppy spots. Oh my god. Wow, I thought this would be a little bit easier to put together, but... Man, this is actually still pretty difficult. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's so much. That's so much. Yeah, this is there's gonna be some sanding. There's definitely gonna be some sanding. Holy crap. Okay, at least everything is in the right place, as far as I can tell. And it's relatively straight, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those things are, are okay. Just see if we can minimize the amount of glue there. Okay. So something like that. All right. Yeah. That's that's not terrible. I mean, it is terrible, but it's for a thing that's terrible, it's not that terrible, I guess. Okay, I got a bunch of glue right there. Uh it's only blocking a couple of the little holes. So <laughs> damn it. Oh, and there's a bunch of glue right there. Just stuck my finger in it again. I have so much glue on my hand. 
Ah, my phone's not going to work now. My my phone is not going to recognize my, my thumbprint when I try to unlock it now. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. Oh, my God. Well, okay. So, anyway. All right, we got that on. That looks... It looks like it's pretty much in the right place. All right. So basically at this point, it's just this part, which I'm not sure how this goes. I think it goes this way. I think that goes right there like that. And then of course, you know, the grip that'll go, that'll go right here. Okay. So. Stop getting more glue on my fingers. Holy shit. No end of glue. Okay. Anyway. Gonna put glue on the bottom of this. And then. Theoretically, that goes. It's glue. Going finger and glue. Mm -hmm. No! What? Why would that happen? How much glue is on my pants right now? Oh my god. That definitely. Something, oh my god. It's not going in here. Oh, there, okay. This, I'm pretty sure it goes like that. I'm pretty sure. Might not. Uh, it seems like the glue did not actually contact anything when I did that. So. Might not go like that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is where it goes, so. Something like that, I think. It seems in there, maybe, possibly. Okay, well, whatever. Why is there so much glue everywhere? Holy shit. That looks so bad. That looks so bad. Right in there. That looks so bad. Oof. Okay. Uh, anyway, and then... Let's see. We'll just shorten these little guide things up here. Well, that one's not glued in there, even though I glued it in there. Okay. And then the handle basically goes like that. I like this little guide system. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. It feels good. It feel. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just we'll just glue it on. And then I think that'll I think that'll do it. Then I'll just let it sit here for many hours and not touch it. And then uh maybe I'll sand it later where the where the glue is uh really shitty. You know. Yeah, something like that. Do that. And we'll take Mr. Paperclip and just spread that all around. 
could really just buy toothpicks to do this with. I think that would be cheaper than using paper clips. I didn't actually buy paper clips for this purpose, but I just had paper clips right here. Yeah, they're just convenient. Push that glue around there. To the edge, but not past it. Something like that. Okay. Got glue all over that. Just make sure the little guide things are in there. Okay. I mean, that's, that's it. As long as the handle actually stays on, then that'll, that'll do it. Okay. And look at that. It does. Let's see. So we have glue sticking out the side, of course, because why wouldn't we? This. Ah, uh, there's going to be sanding. I hate sanding. Ugh. I said to keep your fingers out of the glue. You know what? I tried. I genuinely tried to keep my fingers out of the glue. But the glue is is apparently in love with my fingers. But that's that's pretty much it, I think. That's that's pretty much the gun constructed. Now I just need to let the glue dry and sand the shitty looking parts. Ugh. Man. Just that. I'm very unhappy with with this, this whole, that whole deal. Oh, and a little, a little bit, uh, I guess uh, a little bit right here and around that piece. That looks kind of not good. But otherwise, uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's okay. I think that, I think that worked out all right. It's pretty, it's pretty straight. And everything. It it feels good. Less glue, no sanding. <laughs> uh you know what? I'm not a member of that club, actually. Uh I I use I'm a member of the club where where we use uh six pounds of glue and then and then we end up having to do everything a second time. <laughs> Ugh. There's so much glue on my hands right now. Let's see. Do my do my hands just look like glue at this point? Uh it, okay, it doesn't really show up on camera that well. Maybe maybe the thumb a little bit. Maybe you can see it on the thumb. Yeah, oh I can see that on the camera on my thumb. What about what about the other fingers? Uh it's not showing up that much. You can only see a little bit of it. But I feel like my hands are completely covered in glue. Let's see. Uh, yeah, not really. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's put the cap back on that. Oof. Okay. Well, that was fun. Wow, I don't want to touch other things now. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, it turned out okay, I think. Eventually. Eventually. I should probably stop picking it up and messing with it. I should probably just let the glue dry. But yeah, it looks all right. I like it. Yeah, you can see where I got some glue right there. And definitely up in the rail thing. 
this is actually not glue. This is just kind of a weird area where it where it printed like it that's the area that was on the bed when it printed, so that's like the little brim thing, but eh, yeah, I guess it could use some some sanding anyway. There's some little rough, jaggy parts where the supports didn't actually come all the way off and stuff. But, uh, otherwise, I don't know. What what do you guys think? Is it is it okay? Is it like a I don't know, like a like a three out of five at least, something like that. You know, here let's let's compare to Deckard's pistol. Oh, it's about the same size. Okay, it's about the same size as Deckard's pistol, so that's cool. Yeah, it's not it's not too bad. I don't I don't hate it. It's fine, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably print a cool little display stand for it. And then I'll I'll just have both of them on display. Like that. Oh yeah, and it's got the little serial number thing here. That's pretty cool. Is that anything on the other side? Oh yeah, it's got it on the other side too. Yeah, right there. I couldn't tell you what that says, but you know, it it exists. It's there. Hmm. Anyway, there it is. I'm gonna put it down and stop messing with it and let the glue dry, and then uh, later I'll sand it. So that's uh, that's probably it for tonight. I think. Yeah. Um in other uh painting stuff news, the the guy that I messed up uh painting uh last weekend, the the Space Marine knockoff guy I was painting for Stargrave, uh I tossed that guy in the trash and I reprinted him and I put new primer on him. Oh, you know what? In fact, let me go get that guy and and I'll just show you guys. Uh don't don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. All right. So, I reprinted this guy, and he came out way better, in fact. Okay, so, uh, because I, I knew what to expect the second time around, uh, as you can see now, he's not standing on two little pieces of um, um, plastic card uh, and stuff. So he's just, he's at the same height as the stupid wolf, and I put his arm at the right angle and everything is is correct and he just went together very nicely and i reprimed him and everything and i still don't know what color i'm actually going to paint him so um but there but yeah there's there's that i reprinted that guy so i still have this whole stargrave warband and i still have a whole frostgrave warband uh to paint also so i i definitely have more stuff to paint uh, when we actually get to, you know, painting on painting on the dark side. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, I reprinted that guy. So now both the the captain and the uh, the first mate uh, look pretty cool. I'm st I'm going to stick with this uh, gore grunt of fur color for the fur. That looked pretty cool. I think I'll I think I'll still I think I'll do the wolf. Like all that color, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try more of a traditional color scheme, I guess. I was trying to like blend things, and I'm not good at that. I suck at you know blending colors and stuff. So I'm gonna go with more of the the type of thing that I normally do for like you know Space Marines and Warhammer guys in general and stuff. And um, I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to make him red because my other Stargrave warband is red. So I don't want to have two red warbands 
but I don't know, maybe maybe blue. Maybe I'll make them kind of ultramarine colored or something. But or or black. Black is kind of a boring color to paint, but uh something like that. I don't know. Metal? What if they have like metal colored armor? I've never done that before on a space marine. Hmm. Thoughts, suggestions, I don't know, color scheme for for my Stargrave Warband. This this guy's the captain. This guy's the first mate. Let's see. Then I have uh let's see. I have I have some guys like this that are pretty cool, and I have some like knockoff Imperial Guard guy. These are like knockoff Tau. And these are knockoff Imperial Guard, so they're going to be part of this warband also. Um, I mean, the the knockoff Guard guys, I, I guess I have kind of an idea how to paint. And then there's, you know, like this. This is another, like, knockoff Imperial Guard type dude, which actually looks kind of a little bit cooler than... You know, the actual Imperial Guard models from GW and stuff, which, you know, I have a bunch of and stuff. Like, I have actually painted real Imperial Guard before. Um, and I, I don't have an entire Imperial Guard army, but I have, like, the Loyal 32, and I have some mortar teams, and I have a big, huge Shadow Sword tank, and uh, stuff like that, and stuff. But I do have an entire Tau army, and um, I think these guys are not as cool as, like, legit fire warriors. But I like their hats. Their hats are really cool, which is what attracted me to them in the first place. So, you know, all these guys are going to go in, uh, in the thing. And, uh... I don't know. I've never really been into, like, the whole Death Core of Krieg type thing, but... Eh... I don't know. I like the coat. I like the boots. The the head doesn't look very stupid, you know. It's it's okay, I guess. And uh yeah. So I don't know. Color schemes. I need a I need a color scheme for all of this. Basically, it's it's all these type of guys. Like you know, knock off Space Marine Captain, knock off Tau soldiers. Uh, knock off Imperial Guard soldiers. You know, uh, this guy kind of reminds me of, like, the police from the Fifth Element a little bit, actually. I mean, clearly he's got a Laz pistol and a chain sword, which, you know, is not super Fifth Elementy, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, this guy has a bolt pistol, so. But, I don't know. In your opinion, which gun is cooler? You mean between between K's gun and Deckard's gun? Um, I think I'm gonna choose Deckard's gun. Yeah, yeah, I think Deckard's gun is a little bit cooler, actually. I mean, they're both really cool. You know, I would, I would, uh, I would take either one of them if I could only have one. But uh, but I think Deckard's gun wins, out of out of like you know coolness. If we're if we're just talking about which one's cooler, but you know K's gun's pretty cool. Oh, did I glue the trigger? I don't think so. Oh damn it! I might have gotten glue on the trigger. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop handling that. Damn it. More glue on my fingers now. Okay. Well, anyway, so that's what I have for uh, for next time that we paint and stuff. I have I have those guys. I have, uh, I have some war bands for for stuff. And uh, let's see. I think I have other things too. Oh yeah, I have uh I have another uh I have another Lance of Mechs for Battletech also. I've got I've got a rifleman 
I've got a Warhammer. I've got a catapult. Uh, uh, is it K1? The one, the one with PPCs, not missiles. I've got that. And let's see, Rifleman, Warhammer, Catapult. What was the other one? There's a, what's the fourth mech? Oh, the, uh, the Stalker. Rifleman, Warhammer, Catapult, Stalker. So, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's definitely more stuff to paint for, for multiple game systems and stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to end the stream here for tonight, though. So, I mean, we're basically done building the gun, and this is the point where I just need to, you know, leave it alone for, for many hours. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to go see Bob's Burgers tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to go to bed now. It's like 3 in the morning. I want to actually get some sleep, because it's the weekend, and I can sleep as long as I want. So, that's going to be great. Okay. Great. Uh, yep, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to do all of the YouTube things. Remember to like and subscribe and do a third thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good night.